Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 506. The category will be a random knowledge pub quiz. This is number six. These are 21 questions from geography, terminology, entertainment, literature, all different categories, 20 regular questions, and a question 21 tiebreaker at the end. Good luck. Question 1. Felix Bumgartner is an Austrian skydiver best known for jumping to Earth from a helium balloon in the stratosphere on October 14, 2012, and landing in what U.S. state? The answer is New Mexico. Question 2. The original pole dance, what West Indies dance and game originated on the island of Trinidad and uses a progressively lowered bar as dancers pass under it? The answer is the limbo. Question three. What is the 2001 best-selling Alice Randall historical parody novel that tells an alternative account of the story in the American novel by Margaret Mitchell? This novel was called The Wind Done Gone. Question 4. What word was previously used to describe a tall hat or as a nickname for a tall guy before it meant a towering glass building usually in the central part of a major city? The answer is a skyscraper. Question 5. As early as the 1870s, newspapers began to refer to the Republican Party as what three-word nickname to emphasize its role in preserving the Union during the Civil War? The answer is the Grand Old Party, or GOP. Question 6. Come as you are, as you were, as I want you to be, as a friend, as a friend, as an old enemy, are the opening lyrics to a 1991 song by what American grunge rock band? That band is Nirvana. Question 7. What is the name of the former computer intelligence consultant who copied and leaked highly classified information from the National Security Agency in 2013? His name is Edward Snowden. Question 8. An open-air venue used for entertainment, performances, and sports. What term for ancient arenas like the Colosseum comes from Greek words meaning viewing on both sides? That term is amphitheater. Question 9. An IQ test determines a total score from a set of standardized tests or subtests designed to assess human intelligence. What do the letters IQ stand for? The answer is an intelligence quotient. Question 10. In the Easter classic, what actor plays the role of Moses in the almost four-hour-long 1956 biblical epic film 
The Ten Commandments, directed by Cecil B. DeMille. The answer is Charlton Heston. Question 11. With more than 80 million speakers, Javanese is the second most common language spoken by the people of what country consisting of more than 17,000 islands? The answer is Indonesia. Question 12. A seasonal or year-round second home often located in the exurbs of Russian-speaking and other post-Soviet countries, what is the name for a traditional Russian summer house? The answer is a Dhaka. Question 13. What U.S. president who served from 1889 to 1893 was preceded and succeeded in the presidency by the same person, Grover Cleveland? The answer is Benjamin Harrison. Question 14. During what procedure, abbreviated as IVF, is an egg removed from the woman's ovaries and fertilized in a laboratory, then returned to the woman's womb to grow and develop? That procedure is called in vitro fertilization. Question 15. What is the term applied to the modern international auto races that originally comes from the name of a 19th century horse race in Paris, France? The answer is a Grand Prix. Question 16. Funds provided by the widow of what 20th century author were used to set up a literary charity called Old Possum's Practical Trust in 1990? The answer is T.S. Eliot. Question 17. According to the 1981 song written by Alex Call and Jim Keller and performed by Tommy Two-Tone that peaked at number four on the Billboard Hot 100, what was Ginny's phone number? If you wanted to call Ginny, you called 8675309. Question 18. One difference between a wigwam and another type of Native American dwelling is that a wigwam is domed and the other, with what name, is a conical tent? The answer is a teepee. Question 19. Referring to the high concentration of peppermint oil used in the original flavored lozenge, what brand of mints uses the slogan, the original celebrated curiously strong mints? The answer is Altoids. And question 20. What literary primate first appeared in a kid's book called Raffi and the Nine Monkeys that was published in 1939 before headlining in his own series that began in 1941? That literary monkey 
is Curious George. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Check back tomorrow. Episode 507 will be a Trebek Trivia. That's 21 questions from the television show Jeopardy that have been altered slightly so you can answer in the form of an answer, not in the form of a question. And then coming up this weekend, we will have a quotes and speeches, famous quotes and speeches trivia, and an all things Caribbean trivia. So those are going to be two good ones. Next week, we'll have all the regulars. We've already started working on the next alphabet trivia. That seemed to be a pretty popular series of quizzes, so we're just going to get started on that. I'm not sure what month we'll actually get to it, but be looking for that. It'll be coming up soon. Today's question 21. What term is used for the partial or complete interception of the light of one component of a binary star by the other? It sounds more difficult than it is. What term is used for the partial or complete interception of the light of one component of a binary star by the other? They call that an eclipse. Thank you for watching today. Check back tomorrow for Trebek Trivia and have a good week.